Now to a new and promising new procedure that could one day be used to fight Alzheimer's, a pacemaker for the brain. Here's ABC's John Schriffen. A cure for Alzheimer's disease, with its heartbreaking mental decline and memory loss, has long eluded doctors. But now, a new surgical approach involving a pacemaker used to stimulate the brain is offering great hope. Two of the first such surgeries in the U.S. were performed at Johns Hopkins by Dr. William Anderson. We're extremely excited about the surgery. What we hope is that we can improve the patient's function for an extended period of time much longer than, than otherwise they would have. Experimental medications have so far failed to significantly slow the debilitating disease, which already affects 5.4 million Americans and is expected to jump to 16 million by 2050. But Dr. Anderson says the surgery has been extremely effective in Canada, where it has already been performed six times on patients such as Robert Linton with early Alzheimer's. If I can't remember something, if I just pause, for one, two, or three seconds, it pops in. Here's how it works. The pacemaker is surgically implanted in the chest. Wires are run under the skin to the skull, then deep into the brain to deliver an electrical stimulation at a rate of 100 electrical impulses a second. What's exciting is our understanding of how memory works fits well with how this surgery might work. The same device is commonly used to fight Parkinson's disease. For Linton, his doctor demonstrates the difference in his brain scans. Although the lights are out here, there is someone home and we're able to turn the brain back on. And while the surgery to battle Alzheimer's is still experimental, after four years, Linton is still driving his car, going to the gym, living a normal life. With the diagnosis of Alzheimer's, you don't know what the future is going to be. And now I think, well, maybe we have more of a future. It's important to note this surgery is not yet approved by the FDA for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, but shows such promise that 40 new patients are expected to receive the implant, David, over the next year. Great news. Great to see Robert still driving and working out. We've been following him for some time now. It is Thanks, good news. John.